Hello, good morning, and welcome to another video tutorial in the crypto space. In this video, I'm going to be covering the Comdex airdrop. And specifically, if you're like me, there's so many airdrops that are going on in the Cosmos space right now in the Cosmos ecosystem that it's very tough to keep up with. And so what you're going to learn in this video is how you check for your eligibility. But more importantly, what if you've got some Atom tokens possibly off in another wallet that is not the Kepler wallet? And so I'm going to show you how you would do what's called the Magic TX or Magic transfer approach to claiming your Comdex airdrop tokens. Now, or your CMDX tokens. Now, a quick note, remember that you're only going to receive 20% of what it shows you, you can claim right now. And then the other 80% is going to be over uh, the next couple of months. So let's go ahead. Let's dive in. Now, before I do this, I'm going to give you the abbreviated version. Remember, this is an as is as available video tutorial. You agree that your use of any such information is entirely at your own risk. If you lose any fees, fiat, tokens, currency, whatever the case may be, I am not responsible for that. I'm not an investment advisor. This is not investment advice. And everything in this video uh, is for entertainment and educational purposes only. All right, so let's dive in. The Comdex airdrop might be one that you aren't familiar with, with Eve, uh, Evmos uh, getting ready to go live, super fluid staking taking place in the cosmos. So here is the website. It's simply airdrop.comdex.one. So if you were staking... Osmo, Luna, Atom, or XPRT, you might be eligible to get some Comdex. In fact, you can claim it right now. And this is, I kind of stumbled upon this um, just, you know, out of dumb luck. I would highly recommend that if you're in the Cosmos space, that you follow Comdex Decentralized Finance on Twitter. You're going to get a lot of good information here. Again, I'm not getting paid by Comdex. This is just me saying, hey, I stumbled upon this and here's what I'm doing. Now, if you scroll down a little bit, I'm going to put all of these links in the description in the video below so that you don't have to come here to find them. They're going to be in the video below. I highly recommend getting into the Medium group. They've got some great moderators in there who are answering a lot of questions. I've had a lot of questions answered in there. Uh, and again, this is probably one of the not so well known or well advertised airdrops that was out there. So let's go ahead and dive back over here. So let's check our eligibility, right? I'm going to click on check eligibility and you can see if you have or were staking or had any of these tokens in a wallet, the Kepler wallet obviously is going to sort of be the low hanging fruit. That's the easiest to deal with. But I had some Atom and it was in an Exodus wallet. So let's pull up the Exodus wallet. I'm going to drop my wallet address in here. And you can see all I have to do in Exodus is click on receive. That would be the wallet address. I'm going to drop it in here and I'm going to click submit address. Now what's going to happen is when I click submit address, it's going to show me a box that tells me whether I am eligible to receive any CMDX. Now you'll notice it says right here, you will receive 15.40 blah, blah, blah CMDX tokens. Now that is not right now. You get 20% of that or one fifth of that. And again, I ended up picking up three Comdex tokens. Now, what can you do with those Comdex tokens? Well, I immediately took mine, ran over to the osmosis zone and I am staking those, pairing them with, I believe Osmo and I think right now it's like 118% or something like that that you're earning. So that's my plan with the CMDX tokens is to simply take them and just continue to add to my bag over on the osmosis zone. Now, if you click on read disclaimer and we click on this button here, you're going to see that there's this PDF in here that talks about all of the um, what do they call it? The T and D or something like that, or the terms or T and C it's terms and conditions. So we want to click on select your preferred method. So when I click on this, you can see the easy way to do this is if you had all this in your Kepler wallet is you literally click on connect Kepler, and then it's going to be able to check your addresses to see, Hey, you know, uh, how do you want to, uh, to do this, right? If you want to use your Kepler wallet. Now, again, I had it in my Exodus wallet. I'm not comfortable with taking that Exodus private um, mnemonic and pulling it into Kepler. I know you can do that. I'm going to talk about that in a different video with the Nomic, another, again, another um, Cosmos ecosystem 
uh, project that is not very well known. So I'll talk about that later. So it's right here, do a magic transaction. So if you had your Atom or your Luna or whatever the case may be, uh, in another wallet, not the Kepler wallet, I'm going to click on Do Magic Transaction. Now, when you look at this, it's kind of like an eye chart, not very clear, like, okay, wait a second. So from your Cosmos address eligible for airdrop, the two address should be this, and then you put a memo in there and the amount to be sent. So the key here is that if you're using the Exodus wallet, this is exactly what it's going to look like. And let me pull that wallet back up. I'm gonna kill the address. So here's what you do is you send a transaction to Comdex. So I'm gonna click on send, and this is where you have to make sure you have some Atom in the wallet to cover uh, the amount to be sent as well as whatever the fee is gonna be. So send to Cosmos address. So the Cosmos address we're sending to is that address right there. And you might be thinking, wait a minute, this is a honeypot or this is some kind of a scam. Trust me, it's not. This is exactly what I did. And I'll talk about the six to eight hour window that you're gonna be waiting uh, before the Comdex shows up so that you don't panic thinking you did something wrong. In the memo, uh, we're gonna put our Comdex address. So now where would you get your Comdex address? Well, you would come to the Kepler wallet you would add, or you could add Comdex to it, and then it's gonna show up way down here under beta support. And again, to add this, you could go to the Comdex website, and there's a way to add the address. So I click on Comdex, so here's my Comdex address. And again, I've already moved the tokens off to a different Kepler wallet. This is the wallet I use for my videos. So back here, the memo is gonna be uh, my Comdex address, uh, and then we've got the from wallet. And then again, we put in here the zero point, you know, one, two, three, four, five, one. So we drop that in here and you click send. And that is it. Now you'll notice over here, it says click on the button below one to two minutes after doing the magic transaction, meaning after you click send over here, and if I was to go ahead and click send, you can see it says, you know, send 0.001 to this address. We'll click on send and success Cosmos sent. And again, it's a tiny amount, not a big deal, but I wanted to make sure you saw everything that you would do in the Exodus wallet. Now, uh, one of the things that I don't see here, let's do check. I think it's where you click on this. Yeah, and here it is right here. Airdrop will be transferred within six to eight hours using this method. That is not... Um, and again, you've successfully claimed and there's the transaction hash and everything. So the six to eight hours, it took six to eight hours. I literally did it, went to bed, came back the next morning, looked, boom, there it is in my Kepler wallet, right? So it was literally that easy to do. And in fact, I apologize. The way that I added it to my Kepler wallet, and let's make sure, I want to make sure I'm clear on this, is let's go to Osmosis Zone. So it just dawned on me. Uh, that the way that I did it was I came here to the osmosis zone. I went to the pools and I simply did a search on CM and let's give it a second here, CMDX. And this is what I did. So I came down here. I actually wasn't the pools. It was the assets. I apologize. Kind of getting twisted around here. It was back over here where if you go ahead and type in CMDX, you'll find it. And if you click on deposit, it's gonna ask you to approve Comdex to add to your wallet, right? And so by doing that, by just doing that right there, you don't actually have to do a deposit, it showed up in my Kepler wallet. I think I may have had to do it twice, but once it's in your Kepler wallet, you're good to go. Again, we come back here, you're gonna be waiting eight hours. So don't think this is something you're gonna do and then you're gonna get it immediately. You can see right down here below, it's gonna take place over three months, um, or I'm sorry, distribution will auto magically take place every three months. So each time you'll receive 20% of the total amount, which means it looks like they're gonna span it over, what is that, 15 months? So I went ahead and collected up. And now here's the key, you have until March 7th to get this done. And if you come over here, you might be saying, well, that, that's not true, that can't be right. Uh, again, second batch of the airdrop will be transferred from the 8th of March onward, but again, 
airdrop will only be claimable until the 7th of March for eligible participants. So I would highly recommend that you jump onto the airdrop.comdex.one site. Make sure you're not connected to a VPN. I, I was connected to a VPN, even though it was, you know, it was terminated somewhere in the US, this site would not work for me. So careful with that, right? Um, and that's it. So again, I just wanted to cover one of the lesser known things that are going on in the Cosmos ecosystem right now. And again, hopefully you were staking some Osmos, some Luna, some Atom, some XPRT, and you've got a whole bunch of comm decks waiting for you. All right, that's all I've got. I really appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out the channel. Hopefully you find something that's of value to you. And that's it. As always, I hope to see you in the next video.